I want to talk about how to resolve a merge conflict. A merge conflict are where you have two different branches that have commits on the same line of code uh, that do not agree with, with what that one line of code or many lines of code should be. So here in my example, you can see I've already kind of done this a time or two. I said, this is my third conflict. And so I'm changing line 11 and I'm on the main branch. So I'm going to save line 11 and I'm going to do a git commit changes on main. Now if I switch to my Gudmanstead branch and I make another change on the Gudmanstead branch and I commit that, git commit changes on GB Gudmanstead branch. Okay, now let me com let me go back into main and I'll do a merge. So I want to merge the two um, together, but obviously there there should be a conflict. So if I do a git checkout into main, uh, the command is to do a git merge of Gudmanstead branch. And now you can see uh, where you're presented with this option in Visual Studio Code, it's really nice. Uh, you can see that we're on main, and you can see that this is labeled as the current change. So I can either accept the current change, I can alternatively accept the incoming change. The incoming change is incoming from the other branch, or I can accept both and keep both code sol solutions. Or if you don't want this at this point, you could do a git merge abort and that will stop the conflict altogether um, and so the git merge is how like if you're not sure at that point what you want to do uh, you can do the git merge abort but let's go ahead and merge the Gudmanstead branch um, for this case let's just say I want the the Gudmanstead branch solution that's labeled as the incoming change um, and so you can save this file. Then you have to do a commit merge conflict resolved. So you have to do one last commit to resolve that conflict. And you can see that the exclamation point, the red exclamation point goes away and we have merged uh, our, or uh, resolved our merge conflict.